Did you miss us? We were gone for a week. Nobody saw any retro rivals, or maybe you didn't even notice. We were on vacation and decided to take full advantage of our vacation and just play games and work and work <laughs> and work. We worked on some stuff in the game room. Yep. So we're gonna talk about everything we did during our vacation. It was mostly gaming related. Pretty much. We did go to St. John Valley Village, you crafty bastard. Empty handed again. But we decided to make that its own separate video because we had had a series of game hunting in Atlantic Canada. Yep. So you can look uh, forward to that. But today we're gonna talk about all the other gaming things we did on our vacation. Starting with... Flea market? Yeah, yeah, we went to the flea market. So we just got back from St. John, dropped off the child, and now we're heading to the Shediac flea market. From nine to three today, but that's irrelevant information because this video will be out after that. It was the last day for the flea market. It was hot AF. It was hot. <laughs> I can't speak from a ginger perspective, but it almost killed you. Now we gotta get out of the sun because Scott's gonna burst into flames. I'm dying. Dying. I'm like a candle, white candle. <laughs> there was an area of the flea market that was indoors and all there was in there was there wasn't any sun. That's it. It was still as hot. Yeah, it was just muggy. It was muggy. This was Ryan's. He's missing a nose. He's missing a nose? No joke. He needs rhinoplasty. Oh, poor dude. That is super cool. I had to take a video of it. Good. It's so cool. If he reaches out and grabs me, I'm gonna be freaked out. I don't blame you. Alright, yeah. <laughs> side by side plots. We did walk around the entire flea market. We didn't end up picking up anything. No, I would say half a dozen vendors that had video games. Yeah. Um, majority of it was like very common stuff, like big collections of like Xbox 360, Wii and stuff like that. Like yes. Very common games. There was one place that we stopped, the guy had a few games in a glass yeah. case, uh, but they were reasonably priced. They were reasonably priced. priced, but I didn't have that much cash on me. And yeah. I really didn't know if I would even want to play those That's games. That's just it. I think almost every game that we add into the collection is a game, whether it's like expensive or not, it could be a big collector's item, yeah. but I still want to play it at oh, some yeah. point to know what it is. Like, I don't want to have a game sitting on the shelf and somebody asks me, oh, what's that? I'm like, oh, it's... Earthbound. Oh, is it any good? I don't know. I don't know. know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like... Exactly. But we did walk around a lot there. We saw some cool things. There was a uh, dinosaur. Dinosaurs, the show, the TV show, the baby, not oh, the mama. And yeah, he was cool. not coming home with us because he was expensive. Not the mama. Not for 120. So we left him there. We saw Moncton Spidey there. Yes! So we just met Moncton Spidey <laughs> and didn't even know it because no I've never seen never his done. face. And we're not going to show you guys his face, but we'll show you his Instagram page right now. <laughs> but we just met him and I was like, he's like, are you guys the retro the rituals rituals guys? <laughs> on uh, Instagram? And I was like, yeah. He's like, I'm the Moncton Spidey. And I just been talking to Scott about that the other day. I'm yeah. like, who the heck is Moncton Spidey? And now we know. Mm -hmm. You guys don't know, but we know. We did not get a video with him, which no. I thought was... Like, we both realized afterwards, he sent me a He looked at us, he's like, are you those retro guys? <laughs> yeah. He I wonder what gives it away that we're retro. He wouldn't even look at me. Like, are you are you, are you guys those retro guys? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm maybe easier to talk to. I'm more maybe. approachable. I don't know. Seen some stuff, but there was never anything that was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I can't pass that up. Roll out. That's toys for Canadians. Mm. This is probably as old as Dennis. You know what? What? I remember in the barn, you never seen the barn, but the barn at home, there was an old cash register. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember who Terry really gave it to. I don't uh, know if it was like that, because I was really young when I seen it. Most Canadian food ever. Maple bacon cheddar poutine. I'm almost half tempted to get one to just show them. Well, we didn't buy anything. Nope. But we have fun. See some cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, the, I think the problem was we oh, tried to go cool. on the last day. So a lot of stuff was gone. Uh, one vendor told us he had 
what came did he say huh? fire emblem fire emblem his prices were actually fairly decent maybe more than you'd expect for flea market but cheaper than pawn shop yeah so i didn't even bother to ask what he sold it for because i didn't want to be disappointed but we have fun yep. the next day we had some friends over we didn't get a lot of footage there just because when our friends are over we don't want to be constantly sticking a phone in their face and be <laughs> like so what do you think about games yeah. and you know what i mean so we did get some footage of them riding Alex's death coaster on Roller Coaster Tycoon yeah. on the VR. He gets a little bit too much pleasure out of watching people suffer. He does. <laughs> so we threw some newbies in there. Uh, Mitch had never ridden the roller coaster. No. Oh! Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh fuck! Uh, oh, man. I forgot what this is like. <laughs> And he did pretty good, so did Kate. Yeah. It's crazy how your body like makes you move. Oh yeah. You need to stop. You stop, your body wants to go ahead, and you're like, what the fuck? Surprisingly, Dennis has played it twice now. And he said he'd never play it again. And I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. But peer pressure works. Peer pressure does work. <laughs> and I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I don't think he improved. A little bit. He was. He didn't cry this time. No. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking crying. I'm fucking crying. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. This is not fun. This is not fun at all. <laughs> Holy fuck. Is that it? Sure. Is this it? Oh my fuck. Holy shit! No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Holy fuck, my ass is so tight, it hurts. Holy shit! Oh no. Oh, holy fuck. Holy fuck. I think I might be sweatier than last time. No. Oh my god. He didn't cry. He did sweat <laughs> profusely both sweating. times. Yeah. Look, look. <laughs> oh my god. COVID oh my god. I like I don't know what it is. Like it doesn't bother me in that way. I'm not afraid. It doesn't get me that way, but it does make me nauseous. I it's fun. Then we got done with our party, and then I think it was just work after that. Work and playing some games at night to wind down. Couple you, little projects yeah, on the Yeah, you wanted to do a Gears of War theme, and I yep. was like gung-ho for it. We cut out the stencil, I got that online. And you, you did a lot of the stenciling, a lot of the spraying. I'm terrible with the Suck it. Spraying. I can't do it. It looks like deep trains crushed. It looks friggin' awesome is what it looks. It's not 100% great, but... Um, that, that's the whole point. Yeah. You happy with it? I think so. Okay, good. Okay. Never, 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 never let your husband spray paint stuff on the front lawn. It's three weeks later and we still have black spray paint on the front lawn. I'm gonna show you guys. Like, it's not that bad now but you can still see where the spray paint is. I'm like, are we working on our redneck badge? Like we do have garbage on the side of the road, so that doesn't help, but yeah. So now we also have spray paint marks on the front lawn. Some up here, it's a, hard, a little bit hard to see up here because it's in shadow right now, but yeah, like what are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? Are we trying to be the redneck family in this neighborhood? I think we might be. So in front of the bar, I made a sign, we spray painted it and everything. It's gonna sit at the front. Mm -hmm. And then the stools, uh, we took the seats off the stools and then painted them with the uh, the gear. Yes, angle. yeah. And it, I think it's just gonna really add to that area. That's the one yep. area in our game room that I think is still lacking a bit, but it's improving. It's improving. I knew it was gonna be a process because I didn't really have a 100% vision of yeah. what I want it yet and as I figure out what I want then I take the you know I'm chipping away at it exactly. slowly. I think it, the whole thing's evolving. Yeah. Constantly evolving. 
Um, we did also work on a table. You're not seeing it right now because it's, it's still in the drying process. Yeah, we've... Hey guys, we're in the dirty, dirty garage today. Don't judge me, but we're going to finish a table. Um, the table has seen better days. So my husband took it apart and the plan is because he, there was some gaps in between the wood, but we want it a nice, clean, seamless finish. There's going to be a lot of sanding that needs to be done. I have to start out with a really coarse finish and then work my way down. I gotta stain it. We're going for a nice medium brown. I hope it turns out good. I just hope in the end that we have something that we're really proud of that didn't cost us a whole lot of money. There was supposed to be a big Retro Rivals logo on it. And I'm not laughing at you. Uh, you're laughing with me. <laughs> it added an entire day of work because I don't know if it was the humidity outside. Yes. I don't know if it was the multiple layers of paper in yes. between that. It all, all worked the glue. against us. Yes. So it you didn't let it dry. Yes. There was a lot of mistakes. Yes. There was mistakes made, <laughs> and and I paid dearly for it. So. I lost a little bit of the character and I wish I could have provided you with some sort of video or picture. No way I could have even filmed that and been happy about it. So what do you guys think? Uh, should we ta leave the table as is? I certainly know we're not going in the same process and trying to get that poster no, board. No, we are thinking um, like a big vinyl sticker. If, like a if we can deckle, get it, yeah. Like a decal, like what we have on our glasses. Yeah. It, uh, they're pretty durable. It's a maybe for right now. I just I just don't know what to do because I'm a little bit nervous. Turns out I'm not great at waiting. So we did go ahead and order the big vinyl sticker. And we decided to make some little coasters too out of our Retro Rivals existing uh, stickers that we had. But yeah, this thing is phenomenal. It comes right off, right easy, but it sticks nice on the table. Don't mind that little bump. That's just from the character underneath the uh, little notch in the wood. So yeah, it, it sticks on phenomenally. It easy, easy to take off to wash. We did have pickups. We did have pickups, yes. We should that. mention that. We did have a lot of fun and we did pick up a few things. It says we. Uh, no, that other one was for you. Yes, but you still buy it. Okay, so <laughs> what I did was buy a 3DS lot. It I spent 250 bucks, but I got eight games and the 3DS was in box and the value was there. This is the 3DS, the box is in amazing it condition. It has everything in the box. Yeah. It's, the 3DS itself was well played. Oh, absolutely. So it's not meant But to it was adult owned. Adult owned and it's, yeah. Yeah, it came with a carrying case. We wanted to trade it, but was vetoed. We by were our vetoed son. by Alex. Yeah. yeah. Now he has a lot of nostalgia for the DS because this, is, yeah. this was his not maybe his first real handheld that was brand new. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, but he's got the 2DS XL, so he's got a, a good little collection for games does. for it too. He does. So he really and you know what? Eventually, this will be his collection. So we kind of wanted to take his opinion and we ended up keeping it. Do you even remember what the, um, 3DS games you traded out? Um, I don't remember them. There was a Pokemon, that's the only There was remember. two Animal Crossing ones, there was a Pokemon one, and Disgea. Just generally Bless games you. we were interested in. And I do have a picture of what it and I'll pop it up. Keep was a couple of Kirby games. Kirby Superstar Ultra. Yeah. You can't go wrong. I don't know why. You can't go wrong with Kirby. I love Kirby games. They're yeah. fun. They're, they're, they're fantastic. They're fun games. And then we have Kirby Roboboto. Roboboto. Robobot. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have... It's, the world it, it's, it's a Square Enix game. Do you want to <laughs> screw this up again? No. Oh, the world ends with you. Uh, Actually, an expensive game, about $95 yeah. or so Canadian. I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but it, it looks, looks pretty damn cool. It looks back. really cool. It yeah. really reminds me of uh, River City Girls and yep. Spot, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World kind that of animation. That kind of animation, but we don't even know what the gameplay is like yet because I haven't tried it. No. Now, this one here is what you traded all the 3DS games in. Yes. So I had to trade in the 3DS games and pay $35. Suck it in five. Yes. But this is a $225 game. 
in the end, I ended up spending $285 on all these items. But when I had done the comparison and price charting, what is actually valued at is about 625 bucks. Okay. So return on investment worth the purchase. It was. It's a lot of money to shell out. That's a lot of money to shell out. If I play this and like don't think it's a great game, I will probably trade it for something that I want that is also yeah. valuable because you know it's there. Exactly. Right. Exactly, and we didn't we didn't pay a lot for it. So. No, no. Exactly. And the Kirby games are always fun. Like you, I don't think you can go wrong. I only need one more Sukadin. We do. We only need number two, the most expensive one. <laughs> May have to sell my soul to get it. Maybe. I don't think it's worth much anymore. I don't even know if you have one. I don't think I have a soul. You so don't. You definitely keeps don't. Telling me I don't. You're have a ginger. Soul. You don't have a soul. <laughs> well, I think I do because it hurts when you say that. Well, that's yeah. We're we're winding down on our vacation. This is. I only have one more day. You only have one more day. I have two. And yeah, we're winding down on the vacation. Sad to go back to work, but it'll be less work than the work we put in <laughs> during our vacation. Right? right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, game on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>